So I'm here with Richard Cox. He is the director of Alpha Romeo North America. So finally, finally, I get my wish. Yes. Two seat rear wheel drive convertible. Mid engine spider. This is kind of the perfect car. It is. This is amazing. It's so you love, you know, amazing Italian design. You love performance, which I know you guys do. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is the car for you. Why did you guys decide to go with the Spider now? Was it always a plan to have a convertible or well, was it something that... At Geneva last year, they showcased the Spider concept vehicle. And ever since that, and the, you know, the public's enthusiasm for it, that's when the designers and the engineers really sought out then, okay, let's put, try and put this into marketplace. And I think what's impressive is everything down to the center exhaust, the carbon fiber windshield frame, all of that made it to the production model. Okay, now a lot of times when you have a hard top and then you chop the top off, yes. You, you know, sacrifice a little bit in terms Indeed. of weight, yep. cowl shake, all of that. How has that affected the 4C? That's the beauty of what this, you know, the Spider is not only what it offers you, but also just how similar it is to the 4C Coupe. So because of the carbon fiber chassis, which mm -hmm. didn't require any modifications, it's only 22 pounds heavier than the Coupe, which means the 237 horsepower engine, you get the same zero to 60 time of 4.1 seconds. Okay, can we talk about this 237 yes. horsepower engine now? Because <laughs> This is a 1.75, not yes. 1.8, nope. 1.75. 1750 cc, we like to call right. it. Okay, so a 1750 cc, <laughs> four-cylinder turbocharged. Yes. How many pounds of boost do you have to get that 237 horsepower? 21.75 pounds of boost, direct injection, 16 valve, turbocharged and intercooled, 237 horsepower, 258 torque. That is redonkulous out of that <laughs> tiny, tiny little engine. And it's also the transmission that goes with it too. So we've got a six-speed twin clutch transmission, right. shifts gears, 130 milliseconds. It's crazy. Two combined with the two, under 2,500 pound weight for the Spider. that's what gets you that zero to 60 time. Now, I know, I have to say it. I have to say it. I know you're tired of hearing it, but there's no manual. No, there's no manual, but there's no person alive that can shift as fast as this yeah, twin but, clutch. I mean, but sometimes, you know, there, there's some paddle shifters. Said, we got paddle shifters, you can leave it in auto really... mode, you've got a DNA switch, you can put it into race mode and do true fully manual mode. Turns off the stability okay. control and everything, so you can really show your skill on a track. So I can hang out at the red line for as long Absolutely. as I want and it won't shift It me. will not shift up. What about coming down into a corner? It will, and when I brake, will it downshift for me or do I have to do that myself? You can set it up in two ways. Okay. One is fully manual, where it will not downshift, or okay. another one where it will actually uh, compensate and adjust and it will downshift for okay. you. Okay, but as long as I have that option, yes. there's nothing worse than coming into a corner, you're in fourth gear, and you brake, and then you go dink, dink, and then the next thing you know, you're in first gear because the car is already switched for you and you wanted to be in yes. second. That's the worst. Yeah, so in race mode, it is fully manual okay. mode. So then you have full control, and you actually control anywhere from six down to first gear, all at your discretion. Okay. Now, another interesting thing about the 4C is that there is no power steering whatsoever. Correct. Now, why did you guys decide to do that? Frankly, that. I'm so happy, thank you. <laughs> But it's a why? little heavier, you know, when you're in the parking lot, but it's really all about the connection to the road. Right. That's what inspired this entire vehicle. You know, behind us in this little tower of power, we've got 1967 Stradale, which really was the inspiration for the original 4C Coupe. And then from that spawned, of course, the 4C Spider. But the thing that set the original Stradale apart was just the way that it made the driver feel connected to mm -hmm. the road. We wanted to emulate that as best we could with the new 4C. So therefore, under 2,500 pound weight, no power steering, lightweight and agile, nothing else like it. And a fairly decent fuel economy, if I'm not mistaken. 34 miles per gallon and zero to 60 and 4.1. Okay, but uh, let's be real here. Can you really get 34 miles per gallon? It's or do you surprisingly have to efficient. It to I'm not saying I would get it if <laughs> I was driving, but I'm saying you can get 34 miles per okay. gallon. <laughs> All right, that's fair enough, that's fair enough. So now that I've got uh, this You've got carbon, your next car, yes. Right, I do have, yeah. well, I, yeah. <laughs> It's one of my cars. Okay. Let's put it that way. 
We'll take it. So the um, I've got a new carbon fiber top. Yes. So how how do I take that off? Is that a manual top that I just pop so off? So there's so there you'll notice on the car it's got a carbon fiber windshield surround, which is actually I should say a full carbon fiber windshield frame. Okay. It's not just a veneer. Then there's a carbon fiber halo on the back, and then in between you've got a choice of two tops. You've got a removable, stowable soft top, so you can put it in the trunk. Oh, okay, great. So whenever you go driving, and if it just happens to start dripping with rain or something, throw mm -hmm. the top back on. But then there's a removable carbon fiber hard top that you would store at home. Okay. Yeah, so or the passenger seat. Sure, no, I, I don't know. no one ever <laughs> drives with me, but they're too scared. <laughs> So, and is this a soft top, does it like roll up? Like yes, the old... yeah, it's got some okay. rigid structure on each um, each side. Okay. And then it can just roll up together. You can do it with one hand, it's probably easier with two. And then it just stows in the trunk and it's a nice compartment. Okay, but it's not anything, anything that's going to, I mean, I'm not pushing a button, it's fully manual, nope. so. Nope. You know. But it's safe up to 160 miles an hour. Oh. With the soft top on. Because that's what I drive on my daily commute. Exactly. So, you know, it's just it's the fine. speed limit. <laughs> We're just kidding, Highway Patrol. We never yes, do that. Never. Ever. Only on the track. <laughs> now, when is this car going to be available? So the 4C Coupe is in market right now, and then right. the Spider will be in market this summer. Okay. And any pricing on that? No pricing revealed just yet. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Breaking news. <laughs> 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 well, listen, I hope that we get to drive this. It is indeed one of my favorite cars, being a two-seat rear-wheel drive convertible kind of gal. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. It's beautiful, beautiful. So nice to see it in a convertible. Of course, we all love a in manual, yellow. but we understand that we're never going to get one, but we're still going to mention it every <laughs> single time we can. That's it for right now. I'm Emmy Hall at the Fast Lane Car. Thanks so much for watching. We're here at the 2015 Detroit Auto Show. Hey, you can go to tflcar.com for more news, views, and real-world reviews, and we're all over the internet, so look us up. Thanks for watching. Bye.